Hi guys, it's Dr. Rich coming back again. So this video was for my college students and my, it can even um, be effective for definitely high school students. Maybe not as much for elementary and middle. You just kind of learn the fundamentals, but definitely a video to help. So um, a lot of questions I get asked about are about schedules and studying. And I can tell you I'm a little, maybe a lot um, OCD, so I'm always making a schedule. So I even have a schedule right here beside me of uh, to-do list for um, Friday for clinic and Saturday and Sunday. And I literally make a to-do list most days of the week probably six out of days out of the week um or i'm making a to-do list for the next three days or something like that so i'm very um organized in that sense but some things that can help you balance um definitely with virtual school hopefully we're going back to in-person school next year i really um hope and pray for that but no only time will tell so only time will tell as far as with COVID. i am at work but i'm in my office so that's we're still in COVID. i still have my mask right here but um, for that reason, we don't know what next school year is going to be like. So I'm currently in an MPH program right now and doing it virtually. And it's definitely, well, I haven't been in school in some years now, but it's definitely a different pace. So I'll record one of the lectures this week and hopefully you guys get to see another kind of MPH at UNC and how, how it looks. So hopefully you guys will like that, but tips for you. So first thing, set goals. So have goals set out. If you're not a person that writes, you can type them out. You can make them on a um, vision board, whatever you need to do. Set goals. Um, say you're in college right now. Set goals for the semester. Like, hey, I want to get a 3.5. Hey, I want to finish all my classwork this semester. Whatever your goal is, set that goal and write it down. Write it down. That's somewhere so you can remember, keep seeing it, and remember, hey, um, I have this goal right here and then also when the semester ends you're like oh I actually accomplished that I did more than I thought um, because when you're going day to day you don't think about how you're actually hitting those goals so definitely um, set goals second thing prioritize so make sure same thing I was just talking about with those to-do lists so make okay I got a test tomorrow a quiz in two days and homework due in four days which one should I do first probably study for this test this tomorrow make sure you prioritize what's first um, and then make sure you're studying ahead of time so not studying at the last minute if you're um, setting those goals and you're making that schedule and you're staying organized then you'll be able to prioritize even better um, so that's a way that will kind of help you guys third thing is organize I've stressed it so much in this video so organize 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 so Hit your goals in a timely manner. However you need to do that, write it down. I suggest writing it down. You can write it down on your phone. You can do a note. You can do something on the computer. You can do old school um, pen and pad. This is me, old school pen and pad. Um, so whatever you need to do to hit those goals, write them down, okay? Um, avoid being procrastinated. Procrastinated, I've struggled with that word. Avoid procrastinating. Oh my God, I'm done with this word for today. Don't procrastinate, okay? So don't uh, wait to the last minute, okay? If you wait to the last minute, basically you're setting yourself up. So paper's due tonight at um, 12 o'clock. Don't start at 11.50. That's just a setup. Um, you're going to fall asleep. Something's going to happen. The software is going to crash. Like, don't, don't wait to the last minute. Um, you realize your spare time. So if you walk to school, if you bike to school, listen to lectures online, um, have it going. That's another way you can study. Um, if you work out, um, if you are able to, I'm one of those people that can, read your notes while you're working out. So if you're on a treadmill, have your notes up there and just read your notes. Like, use that time. I'm not saying don't have any free time. Have some free time. Still have a life. But that's another way. Um, that you can do things and then know when your best time of being productive is so is that um and i've gotten all this from kind of different online websites that i've kind of uh, reviewed and kind of put out the best things to kind of help you but knowing when your best time i know my best time to study is at 4 or 5 a.m i can tell you my boyfriend hates it but i can set that alarm at 5 30 in the morning study do homework for about two hours before i even get up to get dressed for work you ask me to do it at 4 30 in the evening it's not going to happen that's nap time not productive anymore so know what your best time of the day is and make sure you're trying to hit those goals during that best time it's okay to know that 
hey i'm not a person that can say 10 p.m it's okay to know that so just keep that in mind so hopefully these tips will helpful for you especially if you're going to be in virtual but these tips will help anybody that's going to be in school um, and figuring out how to kind of balance your schedule as always check out the website www.ccballacreations at um, dot com or email me at ccballacreations at gmail.com would love to hear from you um, give you some advice help you out have a good one